the music was great up on the stage. And mm. I, I thought it was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if they'd have played the right <laughs> tune, it'd have been even better. <laughs> there, there was no cold breeze where we were. <laughs> oh, typical. <laughs> He's a non-dancer. Right, I don't dance. The dancers wear face paint. Now I'm a musician. And so I don't it's, uh, wear face paint. It's, it's not I can, can wear it if I wanted to, but I don't. Um, John doesn't, Derek will, but he doesn't like it. Um, and Richard, I'm, Richard will actually play, he'll wear face paint as well, won't he? So, yeah, but musicians don't have to, we're not dancing. So basically, if you make a mistake, you just carry on dancing anyway, regardless. Um, if other people make mistakes, you just cover them and carry on dancing. No. Mm, apart from the weather, it's yeah, I've enjoyed it quite a lot. It's good fun. Keeps you fit, keeps you warm. When Rattlejag first started up, we did dance with them for some time as we were quite interested in the dancing they were intending to do because we'd already seen another cycle, Flag and Bone, who did a similar tradition and we were quite intrigued by that. So we, we did join them for a short period of time but we found it was a bit heavy going dancing with two teams. And the styles are slightly different, so um, they have a much more forward kicking motion in their single step, where we have a sort of flick back. Ours is much sort of well, it's, ours is more laid back. There's it's slower and it's easier, where mm -hmm. theirs is much faster step. Yeah, it's, and it's quite tiring. It, the it, dancing. it became a problem that we. We were getting sore knees because we got so used to one style of dancing, the other style suddenly hurt. <laughs> also, the, because they were starting out, quite often they used to ask us to go on and do a couple of border dances just to help them out while they rested. So we were sort of doing a whole display with Rattlejack and a couple of our own dances as well. Yeah. yeah it got very tiring, but it was good fun because I didn't have to be in charge. It's just the kit was, I, I couldn't get used to wearing no. that flat cap. And I was never going to have that bell on the ribbon. <laughs> I did try and it swung around and hit me in the face after a while. I was just never going to have that bell on the ribbon. <laughs> I missed the way to the top hat, I missed the way to the kit full stop mm. really. And but I also made a big mistake by choosing brown ribbons because you had to have face paint that much to ribbons. Nobody else had got brown ribbons. Oh, brilliant! Go for that. So I got this brown face paint. It just looks as if I've been rolling around in the mud. Mm. I thought you had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fine. side of it always seems to be the foreman getting drunk and getting into some silly position yeah um, quite a few I've been thrown into a bush by one of the members that was even more drunk than I was at the time there's that time when Mark got so drunk that he went to sleep on his tankard in the yes. tent <laughs> and then woke up in the morning with a flat flashed. tankard <laughs> And he had to go to the junk shop to buy a new tankard. <laughs> he got it for 50p. <laughs> and 
of course, the best one, which is the latest one, which has got everybody wanting to go on weekends, is the fact that I got so drunk at Sheringham when we were going home on the bus. One second I'm talking to everybody, the next second I'm asleep with my head between the two seats in front of me. I just yeah. lost about four hours of the day. Then yeah. woke up and uh, cooked tea. Well.